Good morning. I feel that spring is in the air. Uh, I've lived in here. I sp well, I've slept in here. I think maybe nearly a week now, and I love it. I wake up and I look up there, and it makes me very happy. Right now, I have a fruit cake in the oven. It's a boiled fruit cake, and it's my favourite one. A little smiley face. I really like that one. And. Um, Apart from the kitchen's not quite done, we, you know, there's a top to put on and it'll be higher than it is now. But it's so nice. I stand here, look out the window, watch the chalk. It's really good. I like it. Anyway, um, today, I think it's the 18th of August, I thought I'd show you the first blossoms on the almond tree. And there they are. Look at that. First ones to open. The almond tree is first to flower, last to fruit. And the other day, like two days ago, I planted eight more trees. One of them is another almond. So I now have 10 different apple trees and four plums of different sorts. Two apricots. I planted another apricot. <laughs> Oh, you won't believe what was happening. I was digging the hole for this apricot right here and um, sort of chucked the spade to the side and it chopped off about, you know, about a foot off poor little apricot. So it's pretty little now, but it'll grow. The veggie garden has wintered well. I've uh, heard that uh, coriander is really good for you, which is good because I have lots of it and I've been eating parsnips and broad beans and kale and spinach and broccoli. Here's a little uh, sprouting broccoli plant that's gone all through winter and I think I have three or four different types of kale. Lots of garlic, lettuces are popping up. It's really good. So right now I thought I'd show you all the trees bare and I don't know, I think maybe in a week or so there'll be more. The rhubarb in this garden has decided to grow and this apparently is a sweet stem rhubarb, doesn't need nearly as much sugar and that came from a neighbour. The fruit trees over here from another donation from the same person that donated this, the damson, which is covered in little, uh, you know, flower spikes, fruit spikes. So there's the damson and the green gauge, I think this is. Oh no, this is the prune one here. And this one is the green gauge. So there's three plums here and one back over there, the mariposa plum. Also here are two very healthy looking Bramley apples. So one here and one here. I do wonder if I have overdone it a bit and you know am I going to lose that view I don't want to lose that view I love it but you know I'll, I'll prune them I'll keep them to stocky little plants the chooks are happy and healthy and sprocket would you believe sprocket is sitting on eggs and I put seven aracana eggs un <laughs> under sprocket because and there's Viddy that's Viddy the little white one there she's picked on by the other hens they de they're definitely not color blind so I put seven eggs of hers under this hen here so we'll see and she should be sitting in here there she is sitting in there and there's one in there laying an egg so I'm getting between four and six eggs a day out of the six hens that are still laying. <laughs> this a little black one, she's a cheeky thing. Eva! She jumps out. I've clipped her flight feathers. She still jumps up. She actually climbs up the fence and over the top. If I see her out, I say, Eva, get back in. And she does. She, she gets back in. How wonderful. I've been watching little lambs, so cute, little lambs. There was five or six um, playing together. Their mum said, just you sit here on the rock.
So the green grass has come back even though we've had frosts. I haven't been anywhere of late because when I hit a huge pothole, unavoidably, on the left hand side of the mouse house van, it uh, hit so hard it put the van into crash mode which means it cut off the petrol, put on warning lights and immobilised the engine. It was a small hole but the, the rear passenger side tyre kind of landed it. Anyway, it sheared off the bump stop on that side. So I've just ordered and they're in, I've got to pick them up tomorrow, uh, airbag. Supposedly they will make it a lot better. They should. It was pretty expensive but you know you, you got to don't you I'm going I've bought my ticket for the van dweller gathering I'll see you there and um, I really need the van back on the road and cruising smoothly George is going to give me a hand to do that how's it going George yeah, let's go we're getting it there it's not actually that difficult was it no make sure you put a block underneath your this main bar yeah yeah otherwise you might fall down when you undo those U bolts Ronnie's me mate, you've seen him before at Van Dweller Gatherings. And now, where are you Ronnie? I'm under the, your van. You're under the mouse house. Yeah, well, this other side is just about to let go. The front of the same tank? No, this, yeah, yeah, but the, this lug here. Yeah. We're on the other bracket, it's on the other side, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I've got two tanks under there, fresh water and grey water. So is that the um, grey water you're this looking is at? The grey water. Uh, it's pulling out the bolts. Any suggestions? Yes. As to what I'm one might do. Look up here and this one. Yeah, I know. They're all doing it. Are they pulling out of the metal or do they just need tightening up? No, they're pulling out. Well, that's that's a problem, isn't it? I would think. Thanks, Ronnie, for having a look. Oh, you're welcome. Flowers are out. This is the only thing that was on this block of land two and a half, two and a half years ago was this old cherry plum tree and it's uh, with the pruning. I got lovely cherry plums off it last year. So things are kicking along well. The veggie garden here on the east side of Tin Hut is looking quite quite good. We've got uh, savoy cabbages coming along nicely. There's some, some peas at the back and some Brussels sprouts. It may be too late for them. And garlic, once again, lots of garlic. The rain made it a bit, made the soil a bit compacted, but so I just use a fork and just lift it. I don't turn it over, I just lift it slightly. And here we are. Tin Hut Tiny House Veranda, looking a bit bare. <laughs> Look right through to the other door. It's kind of empty in there. That's my workshop from now on. And we'll walk through, we'll go in this way and out the other. Lots and lots and lots and lots of space. The solar system is doing fantastically. Uh, can you see the green light there? It's 10 o'clock in the morning or something and it's fully charged. So it's not a problem. Running the fridge, the bigger fridge, in Jenga from the three panels and the one 3.3 kilowatt lithium battery that I have on Tin Hut is running everything perfectly. I have lots of lights in Jenga, lots of power points, but I don't have energy greedy appliances. You know, I do have a tiny little processor. I think it's 200 watt, but it's only on for a blip blip. Anyway, back in here. What do you think? What do you think? It's nice, isn't it? I can sit here, look out the window. I can take away those curtains. I decided against the screen door. It was too dark. I'd rather be able to see out. I mean, I can always shut this glass door here. This is the hat stand on the fridge. Now, this is my fridge. See, it's quite big and nowhere could I find the wattage on it. Lots of stuff, 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 but it runs perfectly. It has a little freezer with three separate drawers, which is a great thing because it doesn't let the cold out. And right now I'm cooking a fruit cake in here and it was to go in at moderately slow, well that's a bit too hot, for two hours. I've 
found these amazing magnet hooks. <laughs> just great for a person whose entire kitchen is made out of filing cabinets, steel filing cabinets. I have a few of my books here, cookbooks, interesting books. Have you read The One Straw Revolution? That is a great book. So there you have it. This is my house. No, it's not a house, is it? It's a, whoa. It's a, a yoga studio. So this is my yoga studio. Plenty of rug room for stretches. So that's what's happened so far. And what do you think? It's, it's all right, isn't it? It's good. I'm very happy. Give it a little, maybe another week or so. I know on Tuesday what's happening is that this drip line here will be done like this. It will be weed mat and gravel and then edged with rocks, exactly the same as this pathway here, which, which does work out really well. You know, it keeps your shoes clean. So I'll be able to sort of walk onto the veranda here anywhere. This is nice. This was suggested to me by my neighbour and it works really well. When it's windy, I shut it down and when it's not windy, I open it up and let the breeze through. And then And taps, taps. I'm gonna have outdoor taps, oh my God, with pressure. So right here on this post, this is post here is going to have a tap so I can water my veggie gardens and the fruit trees. And then running along, I'm just underneath the veranda here, right the way along to the end post here, will be another tap. Bay at the door keeps demons and witches away. <laughs> I read that just yesterday and I happened to have a bay tree at the front door and um, so far no demons or witches. <laughs> Good news. Join me for a cup of tea and I'll see you next time. Bye.